friends, fellow beer geeks. I'm Wes, the Craft Beer Geek, and tonight I have a very special beer for you. Tonight's beer is the 20th anniversary beer brewed by the Dogfish Head Brewery out of Delaware. They are out of Milton, Delaware to be exact. <clears throat> and as I said, this is their 20th anniversary beer. It's called Higher Math. Uh, it is a golden ale brewed with chocolate and sour cherry juice. Comes in at 17% alcohol by volume. Got this beautiful lime green cap with the shark on it that we all love to see on dogfish head beers. So really excited to give this one a try. Really looking forward to uh, getting in the glass, getting a taste of it and let you know what I think of it. Don't know if you're gonna be able to find this. Hopefully you have one uh, in your cellar waiting for you. Uh, they released this near the end of 2015, the end of last year, and I've been holding on to it for a while and finally got around to giving this one a try. So let's get it open, get it into a glass, and see what it's all about. Okay, so the Higher Math poured out a uh, very reddish brown color. Uh, not too much in the way of a head on this one as to be expected, 17% alcohol. So you're not, not gonna have much in the way of head retention. Uh, does appear to be fairly cloudy. I did notice a lot of sediment. That's probably from the cherries, uh, you know, being fresh cherries in the beer. Uh, let's see what the aroma is like. Uh, do get a very sour, uh, fruity aroma on here. Um, I'm also getting a very bread, fresh, fresh break, uh, fresh baked bread kind of aroma, you know, just really freshly baked, really um, soft inner, inner bread, sort of a yeasty kind of smell, almost a little bit of an alcohol burn in the nose. Um, I'm ready to go ahead and give this one a taste and let you know what I think. If you're drinking along, cheers. All right, right up front, this definitely has a very heavy body to it. It's very thick, it's very rich. This is something you'll want to drink very slowly. Uh, just savor it. And, uh, right up front, you're hit with a very fruity, sour kind of, of note. And then uh, you start to get into sort of that chocolatey finish. It has a very, almost like a dry baking chocolate kind of texture, uh, not texture, but kind of dry chocolatey kind of finish to it uh, that sort of balances out the sweet uh, sugary uh, notes to it. Definitely is a good bit of alcohol burn on this one. Um, as I said, it's something you're gonna wanna drink slowly. It's not something that you're gonna drink, drink really fast, just something to sip and savor. Yeah, I'm not getting as much of the cherries as I wanted to get with this one. Um, uh, maybe it had more cherry flavor in the beginning when it was first released, uh, but now I'm getting more of just a sort of sour fruity kind of flavor and the chocolate flavor is coming through pretty nicely as I said. And on the bottle here it says, celebrating 20 off-centered years with our luscious chocolate cherry birthday cake in liquid form. Um, and it does, it does sort of have a cakey kind of kind of flavor to it. As I said, it's got that bready, yeasty kind of flavor going on there, mixed with the chocolate flavors. Uh, definitely a cherry liqueur kind of strong, fruity kind of uh, boozy kind of note also. Uh, definitely a pretty still beer, not really much in the way of carbonation, which is unfortunate. I'd like to have a little bit of carbonation with this one. I think it would help some. It's just, it's pretty still right now, not, not any kind of carbonation. Uh, it's just really thick and sweet and syrupy. So I think I'm ready to go ahead and give my final thoughts and wrap up this review of the Higher Math from, 20, from Dogfish Head Brewery, their 20th anniversary celebration ale. Uh, let's see, what, what do I like about this one? I like the chocolate. I think the chocolate was done really well on this one. Uh, but overall, the rest of it, I think it kind of is a miss for me. Uh, as I said, the cherries just weren't there for me. I'm not getting really much of a cherry flavor. I'm just getting a sour, almost rotten fruit kind of flavor. Uh, there's not really any carbonation at all. Uh, it's quite a thick, sweet beer. I understand that's gonna, you know, you're gonna have that with a 17% beer. 
uh, but they could have given it some more carbonation maybe uh, to sort of help with that. But yeah, this one's just really not working for me. So with that being said, I'm, I'm gonna give it a six out of 10, unfortunately. It's, it's, it's just wasn't, wasn't doing much for me here. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this, but um, not that I could get any more if I wanted it, but probably not something I would buy again. That's going to do it for the higher math from Dogfish Head Brewery. I thank you for watching this episode of the Craft Beer Geek. If you like this review, you can find lots more at craftbeergeek.com. All my reviews get sorted there by brewery as well as by beer style. Uh, so if you want to see what I thought of some other Dogfish Head brews, you can check that out over there as well. If you want to support the channel, please use our amazon.com shopping links in the show notes below on YouTube or on the right-hand side of the page on craftbeergeek.com. Uh, you can follow me on social media at uh, Google+, Plus, Twitter, and Untapped. Follow me there. See what I'm drinking. So thank you for watching this episode of The Craft Beer Geek. I'm Wes, The Craft Beer Geek. Please drink responsibly. And remember, I don't drink bad beers. You shouldn't either. See you next time. Cheers. <laughs>